This can't be the right way. It is the right way. You, go into the cave. But this is where the fire demon dwells. Surely he'll devour me. Go oh. into the cave or I'll throw you in. <laughs> Disturb my slumber shall sleep forever. <laughs> I lured you out of your oven this time, foolish fire demon. Wish you. Demon. Indeed, I have Pralambasura. But next time, I'll get you. <laughs> <laughs> what brings you to this scorched world, my old friend? Orders from Kamsa. We are to destroy the Angel of Death before he can destroy Master Kamsa. Hmm. I've heard of the boy's magic. If we work together, surely one of us will find him and kill him. We cannot be sure which child is the one. <laughs> so we just have to kill them all. That should be an easy task. The forests are like a tinderbox from the summer heat. Mm, I'll burn them down and flush out the children that play amidst their shade. And our angel will soon be ashes. <laughs> Present your torches. <laughs> Your music is so sweet and melodious, Krishna. Even the trees seem happy to hear it. They may be, but not as happy as I am to see that. I know what you're thinking, my brother. I'm thinking what I always think, Balaram. How to fill my tummy with the bliss of our gopi's milk. And this time, I'm ready for them. Madhu, Subala, we have royal duties to do. Royal, royal duties? duties? Yes. Isn't it? That's not the way to keep it from falling, Vishaka. Look how well Radha is balancing her pot. Oh, Radha is the queen of Rindavan. She gets everything right. We'd better catch up to the others before... <gasps> Stop! What are you smuggling in those treasure pots of yours? We're carrying the same thing we carried yesterday when you stopped us. And the day before. And the day before that. I knew you were smuggling golden treasure. It's not treasure. It's just butter. <gasps> butter? Oh, you must pay a hefty tax on that to my stomach. Uh, I mean to my king. Mm? We've told you a hundred times. We are not paying any tax. We can see right through.
to those fake costumes of yours. We know who you really are. Then you know who I am. The king's most feared tax collector. And if I don't get my share, I mean the king's share, I can be very dangerous. <laughs> well, Mr. Tax Collector, sir, you may tell your king that we only pay taxes to our queen. <laughs> queen Radha! But, but, but she's no queen. Just look at how she's dressed. Like, like a milkmaid. Hmm, indeed. She carries a pot of milk on her head instead of a crown. <laughs> <laughs> and you have a monkey on yours! <laughs> He's king of the monkeys! <laughs> What's going on? Uh, um, we will return for the taxes later. <laughs> uh, the king requires our immediate attention. <laughs> Was he trying to collect taxes from you again? That boy will never give up his pranks. As if anyone would believe he's a tax collector. <laughs> Everyone knows he's our darling little Krishna. Sudha, he will never stop his mischief if we pamper him every time he steals our milk and butter. We must teach him a good lesson. But not too harsh, I hope. Don't worry. When we are through with Krishna, he will never bother you with his tax collecting again. Well, where's my share of the taxes, brother? There's nothing to share. We'll starve at the rate those girls pay their taxes. But at least we won't starve for music. Play for us, Krishna. Ah, your music is as satisfying to the ear as butter is to my belly. Almost as satisfying. Krishna's beautiful music gives us more energy than mere food. Come, let's use our newfound strength and have a tug of war. <laughs> <laughs> Grab hold, Krishna. <laughs> the losers will carry the winners on their shoulders to the river and back. Demon, your task is at hand. There is the angel of death. How heartwarming. <laughs> I shall enjoy licking his flesh with my flames. <laughs> no, if you approach them now, they may run away. Let me lead them deep into the forest. Then you can carry out Kamsa's orders and set the trees ablaze. One way or the other, they will not escape alive. A blazingly brilliant scheme, Pralambasura. To the forest! Hurry! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have fun playing with them. Um, I can't play anymore, Balaram. Something desperately urgent has come up. <coughs> what is it, brother? There are taxes to collect. But what about the tug of war? Ugh. The teams are uneven without you. Ugh. You, come here. Yes, you. Hurry. What's your name? Pralam... Pragosh. Well, Pragosh, it's good of you to come join us. My friends need your help. But, uh, I'll be back soon with milk and butter for the willows! I just have to bring these boys into the forest first, and then the Angel of Death will follow. Girls are alone this time. I hope you're hungry, Daddy, because today 
they're going to pay a very heavy tax. That's far enough. this time. Now you will pay your taxes or face the wrath of the king's personal guard. Call him off! We will pay the taxes! Guard! A very wise choice indeed. Now hand it over. The King of Vrindavan will be pleased. Very pleased. Now we're going to catch him and he's not going to make it all. I've got you! <laughs> <laughs> well, Sir Tax Collector, you got your share this time. <laughs> now? We are going to get our share and tell your mother, Yashoda, that you've been extorting milk and butter from these poor girls. Won't she be surprised to learn her darling Krishna has given up cow herding and is now the king's personal tax collector? No, please don't tell her. She will be very angry. As she should be. Please let me go. I promise I'll never dress up as a tax collector again. No, you won't. Because we're going to teach you how to dress up properly when carrying milk and butter. <laughs> Aren't we, Chandrika? <laughs> yes, we are indeed. <laughs> we're almost there! Just a little more! <laughs> <laughs> Come on then, carry us to the river! Well... Don't just stand there looking like a loser. Bend down and carry me to the river. I bend for no one except for the great Balaram. I shall carry you, but not to the river. Yay! <laughs> oh, you're slow as an elephant. Faster! Faster! <laughs> <laughs> now he looks like a proper milkmaid. Yashoda could see him now. <laughs> oh, please, no! But you look so beautiful. <laughs> Yashoda is lucky to have such an angelic daughter. <laughs> Maybe my son Subala will marry you. Then you will be my daughter too. <laughs> please let me go. I promise I'll never dress up as a tax collector again. You certainly won't. But you will pay one. Are you satisfied now that I've paid your tax of shame and embarrassment? Will you please let me go? Hmm, not before you dance for us. Go on, Daddy, play. <laughs> <laughs> dance, Krishna, dance. Come on, Krishna, dance. <laughs> No, Balram. I know exactly where I am. Prakash, what on earth are you doing? <laughs> so, you've come to kill me, huh? And your friends as well. The fire demon will be roasting them any minute now. Is that so? Well, we shall see who will go to the land of the dead. Indeed, we shall. <laughs> Listen! 
the cows are in danger. <laughs> Why are you stopping? Uh -huh -huh. You're not done paying your tax yet. Krishna! Don't you hear it? Help us! <gasps> Look! My dear mothers, your sons are in the forest and they are calling out for my help. I must go. <laughs> Looking for me? You are as slow as you are ugly. But I will fix that. That's much better. Lakshmi! Where are the cows? They've wandered into the forest in search of greener grass. We never should have left them and gone off to play. Or to collect taxes. for my call. We must hurry. Oh, don't take it off. Your horrible face will scare away all the forest animals. <laughs> that will be the last time you joke with the mighty Pralambasura. I don't think so. <laughs> now I shall squeeze the life out of you like a bug. <laughs> <laughs> Pralambasura is killing your brother this very moment. And I shall devour you with flames and rid my master Kamsa of his curse of death. Oh, Krishna, please save us. Don't be afraid. No harm will come to you as long as I'm with you. Now, all of you, just lie back on the grass, close your eyes, and imagine a cool summer breeze blowing over you. <laughs> What's the matter? Don't want your friends to see the great hero burned alive? <laughs> oh, it's not that I'm concerned about. It's just that I didn't want them to see the horrible fate I have in store for you. <laughs> so You'll be dead. Kamsa will be pleased. But you're mistaken. Kamsa will be very disappointed when he finds out you are the one who. Thank goodness you're both safe. Of course. 
course I am, Mother. What harm could come to me, with all my friends and my dear brother here to protect me? It's true. I killed the demon Pralambasara with one punch. And Krishna destroyed the fire demon. How is it possible that my little boys destroyed such horrible demons? Don't ask us. Our eyes were closed. Yes, Krishna told us to keep them shut. My dear child, we are so sorry to have punished you for your pranks. Can you ever forgive us? You both have so kindly saved our boys from the jaws of death. We are eternally indebted to you. I thought you were just naughty tax collectors. But you are the greatest heroes in Vrindavan. We can never repay you for what you've done for us. Oh, you are the best friends anyone could ever have. <laughs> Mmm, it's better than I had dreamed. Mmm, yes. Who could have imagined that taxes could taste this sweet? <laughs> <laughs>